And the first fundamental, therefore, rule I'll tell you is there is no formula in anything in life and certainly not in journalism. Journalism has got to be free. Information has got to be free. In this video, we are going to introduce you to unknown aspects of Arnab Goswami's career. Everyone knows that Mr. Arnab began his career with NDTV in 1995. But what many don't know is this, before NDTV, he had worked as a journalist for the Telegraph newspaper in Calcutta for about a year. Arnab comes from a wealthy family of lawyers in Guwahati, Assam. He completed his graduation in sociology from Delhi University and master's in social anthropology from Oxford University, London. Arnav's grandfather, Rajnikanta Goswami, was an independent activist, Congress leader and was a well-known lawyer of Guwahati. Arnav's father, Manoranjan Goswami, has served in Indian Army and has also been supporter of the BJP. In 1998, they also ran for the Lok Sabha elections but almost lost to the opposition candidate by nearly half the margin. In Kolkata, working as a print journalist, Arnab lived in a 200-square-foot room on the 6th floor. Due to the language barrier, Arnab was having a lot of trouble understanding others there. But that's where Arnab found his role model, Bhupen Hazarka, was a legendary musician, poet and filmmaker from Guwahati who met him. Then in 1998, he joined NDTV, where he can be seen as an anchor it was during this time with NDTV that he wrote the book Combating Terrorism, The Legal Challenge regarding the attacks of 9-11 in his book. Arnab wrote about the difficulties and bringing terrorists and terrorism under the law. This book is currently unavailable as it is out of print since 2007. After resigning from NDTV, Arnab joined Times Now as a news anchor and chief editor in 2006. He then started hosting the prime time show The News Hour. He also hosted an interview show called Frankly Speaking with Arnab Goswami, where they bought international personalities like Hillary Clinton, Julian Assing, Dalai Lama, Benazir Bhutto. Under Arnab's leadership, the channel has exposed numerous scams like Adar Scam, Commonwealth Game, 2G Scam, Lalit Gate and many more. The most significant coverage in his career was the Mumbai attacks, where challenges arised. Arnab anchored for 65 hours non-stop, which a journalist from India has ever done before. In an interview, Arnab said, I definitely want channels like CNN and BBC to be in India in the future, which will be broadcasted worldwide. And if any such opportunity arises, I definitely want to be a part of it. Why do you look for villains? You want a villain every night so that you can bash him up? The fact is there are many villains. It's not my fault, but you pick up one villain at a time so that the emblems of what have become an acceptable villainous society are now beginning to be defeated. The conversation revolves around the arrest of Arnab Goswami under sections 306 and 34 of the Indian Penal Code for abandonment and aiding in committing suicide. In the above video, police mentioned a 2018 case where a son and mother committed suicide allegedly due to the actions of Arnab Goswami. Do you have evidence, sir? Yes, sir. We have. Because it was a case, I believe, that was closed by the police itself. Yeah, the same police and same court has opened. No, I am not. I am not. I am following. I am drive. We are driving the car like normal citizens, sir. Mr. Vase. No, no, you are not doing it. No, no. You are, you are interrupting this I thing. am not. I am not. You're, it's you're my duty. Arnav's, Arnav's wife has torn the legal paper. No. The intimation but, which was given to her 
The video shows the moment when Arnav Goswami was arrested by the ragged police because of a case filed against him in 2018. In the video, Goswami can be seen not following the instructions given by the police, which led to the police officers having to physically intervene to take him away from the situation. Ma, I'm not finished. Listen, listen, listen. I am device P. Pravin Patil from Raigarh Police. I am here to arrest you in CR number 59 of 2018 under section 386. Thank you for IPC. You have to cooperate me. You have to cooperate with me. Please, please, please. I need to make some arrangements. I need to make some arrangements. Maintain social distancing and sit around. This is my house. Shamo! Assault! Assault! Don't push! Don't push my side! The video shows the arrest of Arnab Goswami by the police. It appears that Goswami resisted the arrest. He is accused under the Indian Penal Code sections 353, 506 and 35 as detailed in a FIR. The footage captures Goswami inside a police van where he can be heard being defamed. He talks about how he believes that people will win and makes comments directed at Uddhav Thakri and Parambir Singh, showing that he is not backing down against them. started pointing specifically at me and he turned his bike back and he came right next to my car and then they started hitting my car with something and trying to break the window pane of my car. They were repeatedly hitting at the window pane of my car repeatedly. Their attempt was to break the window pane of my car. So for a few seconds, I, I couldn't quite get what was happening. I took a little while to react. I ducked at that point of time. They continued to hammer and try to break the pane my building. They reached the parking lot of my building and I asked them what, what happened and who were these people. And they said to me that they were, they were Congress workers, youth Congress workers, who had said that they had been sent to attack me. And youth Congress workers who said they had tailed me and they were given instructions by their higher ups to attack me, to teach me a lesson. So I just want to tell you, Sonia Gandhi, that you're the biggest coward in this country right now. You, Sonia Gandhi, tried to carry out an attack on me when I was driving back from work. You know the questions I have asked you are absolutely appropriate. You have no guts to face me. My questions against you will increase. The questions I'm asking you are legitimate questions. You tried to attack me. You tried to attack my, my, uh, my wife. You have tried to attack both of us while we were coming back and I will hold you personally responsible for any consequences of any attack for, on me. I'm watching this today. I'm going to be filing a complaint. I'm going to be going personally to the NM Joshi police station. I have spoken. The DCP was here. The other officials immediately came in of the Mumbai police. I have told them, I thank my, my security guards for providing me the assistance at that point of time and I want to tell you that if, if at any point of time there is no follow-up action on my complaint, please do remember that my complaint is being going to be filed as of now while I am putting this out to you. It is 24 minutes past one. As a citizen of India, I will go to the police station. Go to the police station, write down my complaint and sign on my complaint. And Sonia Gandhi, bring it on. Bring it on. I said it on my program to you today. Maybe you didn't like it, that nobody is scared of you anymore. Get your goons out. Get as many goons out. Attack me. Stop my car. Do what the hell you can. But we are not going to be scared of you and your monstrous measures anymore.
I thank everyone for their support. I've got a lot of support. Many of people are calling me from all across India. In the featured clip from the prominent channel R Connect, Arnab Goswami extends gratitude to Harish Salve for his legal representation and acknowledges the contribution of India's legal team. He also expresses appreciation towards his friend Saket Shukla. Goswami criticizes Sonia Gandhi saying she lose in legal battles against him and calls her foolish. He emphasizes the importance of truth, a strong media and a fair judicial system in the country. The first point is that this is a huge loss for Sonia Gandhi and Tonya Maino. For Sonia Gandhi and Tonya Maino, let this serve as a lesson that if she, if she models herself around the emergency-like figure of Indira Gandhi, then this is not 1975 Sonia Gandhi. And I am telling you loud and clear, you have lost today, but you have not just lost Sonia Gandhi and Tonya Maino. Your family has lost, your party has lost, and your legal team, which misguided you, has lost. And I also want to announce today that Sonia Gandhi and Tonya Maino should really introspect today. And so should Priyanka Vadra, Robert Vadra, and the Vadra family introspect today. That it is not just that they have lost today. They will lose every day when they try this. In the process of targeting me and Republic, they have truly exposed themselves. They have shown that they want to use the apparatus of power at their own convenience. But there is a system in this country. There is truth in this country. There is a media in this country. There is a court process in this country. And I want to tell Sonia Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, understand this. You are not just foolish, but you are also fooling yourself, Sonia Gandhi. In this segment from the news channel R Connect. Arnab Goswami criticizes Rahul Gandhi for making negative comments about the ancient Hindu practice of Shastang Pranam, which involves lying prostate. Goswami highlights Gandhi's disrespectful language, like referring to it as lying down and all that. He questions Gandhi's behavior and suggests it shows a lack of regard for Hinduism. Goswami points out how other religions are treated with more seriousness while Hindu practices seem to be mocked repeatedly. He also wonders why Gandhi seems to have a problem with Hinduism. And Rahul Gandhi can't be pardoned time and time again. For he would never mock the religious habits or culture of any other religion. But he does so again and again in the specific context of Hinduism. And what is the reason for such a visceral hatred for Hinduism? And why has Rahul said this?
These are all segments from Arnab Goswami's talk show called Frankly Speaking. Goswami questions Raj Thakre in 2008 about his opinion on media censorship, asking him about his stance on press freedom. Rahul Gandhi's first interview on the show in 2014 creates controversy as Goswami asks him tough questions for the first time, leading to intense public attention. Amitabh Bachchan talks about the three legal cases on the show, claiming he won all of them. Goswami interviews Prime Minister Narendra Modi discussing various topics. Salman Khan also appears on the show showcasing its diverse lineup of guests.